Hey, second grade, it's Miss Rizelle here. We're going to learn about shades of meaning today. I love, love teaching about shades of meaning. If you can remember that word that we've learned and talked about a lot this year already is synonyms. Everyone say synonyms. Synonyms are words that mean the same or have almost the same meaning. They're very similar. So for example, little, small, tiny, all three of those words are synonyms. They mean small things. Big, huge, giant. All three of those words are synonyms because they have the same meaning. They're large things. Really quick, we're going to watch a fast video about shades of meaning, and then we're going to do a little activity together to practice what we've learned. Hey guys, today we are gonna be learning about shades of meaning. So I want you to think of your favorite color. Mine is green. So there are lots of different shades of green, light all the way to dark. The words are the same. We call it shades of meaning. They help us to describe what we are thinking or feeling and decide which word shows a stronger meaning. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's think of a word like light green to dark green. Mad would be the light green, but angry would be darker green because angry is a stronger feeling than just being mad. So let's look at the shades of meaning for the word happy. Uh, we start with the light blue for happy and then go to glad, merry, delighted, thrilled, and ecstatic. Notice how the colors get darker, the meaning of happy gets stronger. So let's review. Shades of meaning help us to decide what words show a stronger meaning when we are determining how we think or feel. So friends, I have some paint strips from the years past from my students um, years ago, and I just wanna show you these are shades of meaning as well. So just like from that video, it showed that the lightest shade of that color going to the darkest shade of that color means that it's the weakest word to the strongest intensity word up at the top where the darker colors are. So let's look at a few of them. The word is sad. So it's a weak word. Not, show me a sad face. Okay, now let's up the intensity a little bit. She's feeling sad. She's feeling glum. She's feeling gloomy. She's feeling heartbroken. Heartbroken is the strongest shade of meaning out of all four of these synonyms. So that is why it is at the top in the darkest shade. Let's look at another one. Mad. Everyone show me mad. Mad. Upset. Ooh. Angry. Frustrated. Do you see how as you go up, the intensity gets stronger? Okay. Here's one for went, it's a verb. She went to the store. She moseyed to the store, she fleed to the store, she traveled to the store, okay? Smart, upping the intensity, synonyms of smart, wise, brilliant, intelligent. Little, read these with me. Little, tiny, small, miniature. All of them have similar meanings, synonyms. Happy, glad, joyful, delighted. Shiny, polished, sheeny, lustrous. Funny, silly, amusing, humorous. You boys and girls are really expanding your vocabulary here, learning lots of new words. Boring, uninteresting, dull, tedious. All of them mean boring. Some are stronger meanings than others. Bad, awful, rotten, despicable. Yell, screech, shouted, screamed. Okay, so now that we've had some practice with shades of meaning, we're going to practice a few examples here on our own paint strips, okay? So I have this paint strip here. You can clearly see that this is the lightest shade of green. 
medium shade, darkest shade of green. So I have these three cards here. All right, let's look. Eat, nibble, gobble. Okay, now thinking of the weakest word, think about the action of eating. Show me just eating something. Maybe I'm eating a cheeseburger. Now show me nibbling on something. Small little bites. Now show me gobble. Ah, you're really hungry. It's all going in your mouth that one time. So what do you think is the weakest version? Nibble. I'm gonna put nibble at the bottom here. It's the weakest because you're barely eating. So nibble. All right. And now it's between eat and gobble. So you go from nibbling, tiny, tiny bites, to then eating, to then gobbling. So we'll put eats in the middle. And the strongest is gobbling. Even stronger than gobble could be devouring that food. If I had another paint strip, darker shade, I would write devour up here because you're eating even quicker than gobbling, eating and nibbling. Great job with that one, friends. Let's try another. All right, so I've got loud, deafening, noisy. So they're all synonyms. Some type of noise is going on, okay? Something is very, 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 very loud. It's gonna hurt your ears. If something is deafening, that's like you're not able to hear, period. That plane flew over my house and it was a deafening sound. It was so, so loud. And then if things are noisy, there's noises happening, but you're still able to think and it's not affecting too much. So the weakest meaning of these three would be noisy. It's noisy in here. So I'm gonna put that at the weakest shade. All right, the next strongest would be loud. It's getting loud in here, okay. Definitely the antonym of quiet. And then the strongest meaning of the three synonyms would be deafening. That sound is deafening. You're not able to hear at all. Deafening. All right, loud or sorry, noisy, loud, deafening. Let's practice this one again. Nibble, eat, gobble. All right, we have one more to do. My last paint strip here. Got three cards. Thrilled, delighted, happy. Now, all of these words mean that someone or something is happy, right? I'm gonna go with the most boring word out of these three as the weakest word. I think happy is the weakest word because happy, we all know what happy means. We wanna try to expand our vocabulary, stretch our thinking. So I'm gonna put happy as the weakest. Now between thrilled and delighted, I'm gonna put delighted next. Happy, delighted, still feeling good. And then the last word, thrilled, like you're jumping for joy. You're over the moon excited. You're thrilled, thrilled up at the top. Okay, so let's practice reading these friends. Happy, delighted, thrilled. All right, friends, thank you for practicing Shades of Meaning with me today. I hope you had some fun. I hope that you can always go and think of your own synonyms and order them in intensity as well, just like we just did, okay? I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Adios.